You know what? As I approach 2014, which is election year, I have to make a lot of videos. All right? And one of the problems I've just I'm running into in my personal life is not so much a criminal local government. Well, it might be it's borderline. But it is like po little pocket dictators. These little power hungry people don't even recognize the Constitution and the freedom of the people. So that's what the governor's job is to defend the liberties and freedoms of the citizens of the state of Tennessee. Now, how would I do that? I would probably take my cues from the book here. You see, God gives us ultimate freedom. And that's what our Constitution is based on, giving individuals ultimate freedom. The problem is, a lot of churches don't like that. And I'm sorry, you cannot shove God down somebody's throat. And I I hate homosexuals. The, the, the homosexual lifestyle is, is, is corrupt. Uh, they go after children and stuff. You know what? I can't stop it. But I don't have to enable it either. All right. It, just because you're you're gay doesn't mean I have to tolerate you. I don't have to hire you or nothing. You know, if I run a business, I don't have to do it. My freedom to say I don't want to deal with you. All right. So, freedom works is a double-edged sword. Now, I'm going to the TBI. As governor of the state, what I would do is basically retask the TBI. They would go back to being a mainly a crime lab for poor counties like, you know, Smith County, DeKalb County. They can't afford big crime labs. So, evidence could be shipped to a, the uh, TBI laboratory for analysis. Fine and dandy. The second thing the TBI would do would be to defend the liberties and freedoms of the people of the state of Tennessee. We have police departments and sheriff's office to handle crime. We have no one in this state to make sure the police and the sheriff's office are not overstepping their bounds. No one. You see, in my situation, being that I'm running for office, I'm releasing all my police records. And it's going to make my local sheriff's office very unhappy with me. Now, they know that I play with cameras. So I do not expect a direct frontal assault from them. As a matter of fact, I expect police officers to be very nice to me. The type of attacks I have to prepare for is the covert attack. You know, um, okay, I am going to play the part of the bad sheriff. I've got a guy that's being a pain in the butt, and he will not shut up. He's calling me an idiot, and a, a, a crook, and everything else. He's calling me all these names. Now, how am I going to get him to shut up? I know he, he's on the internet. He's got video cameras everywhere. So we, I can't send a deputy after him. So what do I do? I got a prison full of criminals that would love to have their sentence reduced. Extra privileges. You know, let it, um, you know, anything. Now, this is the mafia style, see, they, they get this from Robbie because it gives them deniability. Nobody can prove this. This is where the sheriff has such power in the county. 
because he's got a jail full of criminals that he all he has to do is make a deal with. You know, hey, if you do this, you know, um, I'll let you see your wife, you know, next weekend. Now, the type of things I have to worry about, somebody riding by throwing poison out from my dogs, riding by shooting one of the horses, Sneaking up in the middle of the night, setting the house on fire, stuff like that. That's the type of attack that I expect from a crooked local government. They will get the criminal element, offer them special deal. Hey, hey, we'll look, we'll look the other way on your pot growing thing if you take care of this problem for me. This is where, if I was governor, the TBI would come in. The TBI would be looking for this. I would send spies out to spy on the sheriff's office and local government. I would send people out to try to bribe public officials. That's what the TBI's job would do. And if the TBI found a public official that was accepting a bribe, we would arrest them and have a public hearing. Can't execute them. The libtards, you know, that wouldn't be... I don't know. Maybe you could. I don't make the laws. I just, you know, a governor, my job is to defend the freedoms of the people. Now, these thoughts I bring out are dangerous because the super right wing don't like it because I'm giving everybody freedom. The left wing doesn't like it because I'm not giving them special freedom. <laughs> so, you know, what part, I, that's why I couldn't be part of a Democratic Party or a Republican Party. That's just what the type of thing I would do as the Chief Executive Officer of the state of Tennessee. I would retask the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation to be the defenders of freedom in the state of Tennessee. We have law enforcement, police, and sheriff's office to deal with criminals. We have nobody to police the police. 